children. Are we happy to be in service today? Yes. Are we sure? Yes. Okay, let's be on our feet so that we pray to God. All eyes closed. In Jesus' name. Amen. Our Father, we thank you for this day. Thank you for bringing us to service today. We know you have prepared a lot of blessings for us. And so, Father, we commit this service into your hands, and we ask that you come and have your way. Thank you, our Father. We cover this place with the blood of Jesus in yeah. Jesus' name. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay, Jimlas, give us a chorus. carefully. Just pay attention to my story. There was a little Nigerian girl. She was traveling with her parents on vacation. They were traveling by air. They were traveling outside Nigeria. So they were in the airplane and all of a sudden there was turbulence. Do you know what is turbulence? Yes. The wind will be making the plane to shake and quake and people will be shaking. And as this was happening, People were so afraid. They were shouting. They were holding themselves. They were shivering. But this little girl was calm and peaceful while the turbulence was going on. And there was a man beside her who was observing her. Then when the turbulence was over, this man asked her, little girl, I noticed you were so calm when the turbulence was going on. What, what made you to be confident? Why were you not afraid? She said, I was calm because my father is the pilot and I know that he will take me to my destination. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So let's go to our text. Ibinabo, can you read for us Matthew chapter 8 from verse 23 to 27? That's our text for today. Matthew chapter 8 from verse 23 to 27. And when he was entered into a ship, his disciples followed him. 24. And behold, he arose a great tempest in the sea, in so much that the ship was covered with the waves, but he was asleep. Continue. And his, and his disciples came to him and awoke, and awoke him, saying, Lord, save us, we perish. And he said unto them, 
Why are ye fearful, O ye of little faith? Then he arose and rebuked the wind and the sea, and there was a great calm. 27. But the men marveled, saying, What manner of man is this, that even the wind and the sea obey him? Thanks be to God. Did you pay attention as she was reading? Yes. Good. The Bible says that Jesus entered into a boat and some people followed him. Who followed him? His, his disciples. disciples. He entered into a boat and his disciples followed, followed him. him. Boys and girls, who do you follow? In your school, who do you follow? Follow. Ask yourself that question. When you go for birthday parties, who do you follow? Do you follow boys and girls who fight, who quarrel? And also, in whose boat are you? Are you in the company, in the midst of those who like telling lies? Who broke the cup? It's not me. Meanwhile, you are the one that broke the cup. Who do you follow and in whose boat are you? Then the Bible said that as they were in the boat, there was turbulence. There was what? Turbulence. turbulence. The wind was blowing and the boat was shaking and water was entering to the, into the boat and the boat was about to sink. It was so terrifying. But the Bible said Jesus was asleep even in the midst of the storm. What is that thing that is troubling you? What is that turbulence, that trouble you are going through? Is it that you find mathematics difficult? A lot of students fear mathematics. Is the turbulent sickness? Is somebody sick in your house? Or are you sick? Or your brother or your sister is sick? Or your grandma is sick? Or your grandpa is sick? What is that trouble you are going through? Just know that Jesus is with you in that trouble. He is with you in that trouble. Jesus is here. Jesus is with you anytime, anywhere. Just know that, that whatever the trouble is, is not bigger than Jesus. He is with you. Then, the disciples did what? They were so afraid. They were so terrified. They had to do what? Wake Jesus up. Savior, Master, wake up. Wait, Jesus, wake up. We are going to drown. Get up from your sleep. Please, wake up. Do something. We are going to drown. When you are in trouble, who do you call? Who do you call. Even when you call your parents, your parents also call God. So we should always call God. We should always call on Jesus whenever we are in trouble. He is there with us. Don't think that he is far away. Remember our topic says what? Jesus is here and he is in full control of every situation we find ourselves in. He is in control. Even now that there is pandemic, he is in control. Praise the Lord. So, did Jesus do something? Yes. Good. Jesus did what? Jesus rebuked the storm and said, you storm, be still. And the Bible said, the storm was calm. Praise the Lord. The storm died. It disappeared. When Jesus commanded the storm to stop, it did what? He stopped. Jesus can save you from whatever problem it is, from whatever sickness, from whatever difficulty. Is it there is no food in the house? Jesus can do what? Can save you. Jesus can, do you know that this pandemic is a storm? This pandemic, this coronavirus pandemic, do you know that it's a storm? Yes. Our Jesus can do what? Calm the storm. All we need to do is to do what? Call on him the way his disciples called on him. Wake up, master. Wake up. We are about to drown. We have to call on Jesus. Jesus, save us from this pandemic. Save us and deliver our country, Nigeria, and the nations of the world. Praise the Lord. Amen. And do you know what happened immediately? Jesus commanded the storm to stop. The storm stopped immediately. Ha! And the disciples were amazed. They wondered. They said, what manner of man is this? Who is this man? What is inside this man that even the wind and the storm do what? Obey him. They wonder. They say, who is this man? Boys and girls, who is Jesus to you? 
Answer the question. Answer yourself. Who is Jesus to you? Is Jesus your savior? Is Jesus your friend? Or are you making Jesus your enemy? You don't have time to pray to him. You're always busy watching cartoon. You don't even have time to read the Bible. You're always busy watching cartoon now that you're at home. It's only cartoon, only playing, forgetting Jesus. Who is Jesus to you? Is Jesus the one you're following? Or are you following bad boys and girls? Is Jesus your savior? Who is Jesus to you? Jesus is our Lord. He is the son of God that God sent to come and die for us. That God sent to come to save us. That God sent to come and give us peace even in the time of turbulence. Even in the time of what? Turbulence. Jesus can give us peace even in the time of what? Turbulence. But for Jesus to be your friend, but for Jesus to be your own personal friend, you have to do something. Chimere read John chapter 1 verse 12 for us. Let's see. So however they receive and believe in him, so he gave them the right to become God's children. Praise the Lord. Amen. So before Jesus can be your friend, because you, before you can be a follower of Jesus, the way his disciples followed him and entered the boat with him, you need to do what? Receive Jesus. You need to do what? Receive Jesus. And when you receive him as your Lord and your Savior, he becomes your friend. And then you become his follower. How many of us are willing to receive Jesus? This is the time for us to call on him, to have mercy, forgive our sins, and receive him. Come into our heart. Bow down your heads and let us pray. It is time for us to allow Jesus into our heart. Now, if you're willing to receive Jesus, I want you to repeat after me. Dear Lord Jesus, Dear Lord Jesus thank you for dying for me. Thank you for dying for me. I am sorry. I am, sorry. I am a sinner. Please forgive me. Come into my heart and be my Lord and Savior. From today onwards, I am your child. I am your child. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Congratulations. If you have prayed this prayer, you are now a friend of Jesus. And you are now a follower of Jesus. And you are now inside Jesus' boat. The same boat where Jesus is, that's where you are. And you will not allow your boat to sink. He will not allow your boat to do what? Sink. If storm comes, if there is turbulence, you do what? You call on him. Know that he is there with you. Now that you are now a friend of Jesus, Isaiah 43 verse 5a tells you what? Fear not. Fear not. Turn to your neighbor and say, fear not. Fear not. Good. Jesus says what? Fear not. We should not fear. We should not be afraid because he is there with us. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So can we take our memory verse? Our memory verse is taken from, from Isaiah chapter 43 verse 2a. Isaiah chapter 43 verse 2a. Which says, which says when you pass through deep waters, when you pass through deep waters, I will be with you. I will be with you. Your troubles Will not overwhelm you. Isaiah chapter 43, verse 2a. Isaiah chapter 43, verse 2a. Okay, repeat after me again. Our memory verse is taken from Isaiah chapter 43, verse 2a. Our memory verse is taken from Isaiah chapter 43, verse 2a. Which says, Which says, when you pass through deep waters, when you pass through deep waters, I will be with you. I will be with you. Your troubles, your troubles will not overwhelm you. Will not overwhelm you. Isaiah chapter forty-three verse two a. Isaiah chapter forty-three verse two a. Good. Just know that Jesus is with you, no matter what, anytime, anywhere. Jesus is with. 
you. And he is in full control of the situation. He is in full control. Even now there is pandemic. Who is in control? Jesus is in control. So you call on Jesus to come and save Nigeria and the nations of the world in Jesus' name. Amen. Did you enjoy the lesson? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, question time. Listen to my question. What situation in life can you liken to a storm? What situation in life can you liken to a storm? Deborah. Sickness. Sickness. Clap for her. <laughs> this pandemic the whole world is going through now is a storm. And who can calm the storm? Jesus. Jesus. Because Jesus is in full control. He is here with us. He has not left us. Question number two. Who do you turn to when you are afraid? God. 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 Very good. Clap for Ibitamuno. You turn to God. You call on him in the name of his son Jesus. And he will do what? Come and rescue you. He will do what? He will save you. Praise, praise, praise the Lord. Ha, ha. Hallelujah. Okay, we have come to the end of the Bible lesson, but before we go, we need to take our action song. How many of us remember this song, When Jesus in My Vessel? With Jesus in My Vessel. Oh, good. Let's all stand and take it. Are we ready? Yes. Okay. One, two, go. With Jesus in my vessel, I can smile at the storm. You're not smiling. Smile at the storm. Smile at the storm. With Jesus in my vessel, I can smile at the storm. As we are sailing. Let me hear you. Sailing. Sailing. Sailing home. Sailing. Sailing home. With Jesus in my vessel, I can smile at the storm. As we are sailing home, sailing, sailing, sailing home, sailing, sailing home. With Jesus in my vessel, I can smile at the storm. As we are sailing home. Okay, let's do a small competition. Boys, let me hear you sing. Only boys with the action. One, two, go. When Jesus in my vessel, I can smile at the storm. Smile at the storm. Smile at the storm. With Jesus in my vessel, I can smile at the storm. As we are sailing home, sailing, sailing. In my vessel, I can smile at the storm as we are sailing. Put your hands together for the boys. Good. Girls, are you ready? Yes. Okay, let me hear you. Want to go? Please. Jesus in my vessel, I can smile at the storm. Smile at the storm. Smile at the storm. With Jesus in my vessel, I can smile at the storm. As we are sailing home, sailing, sailing, sailing home, sailing, sailing home. With Jesus in my vessel, I can smile at the storm. As we are sailing home. Clap for the girls. Very good. Sit down. Now we have come to the end of today's lesson. Let us pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. Our Father, we thank you for a wonderful time we had in your presence. And so, Father, we bless your holy name because you are a faithful God. You have taught us that you are here with us. You are here with us in every situation, O oh Lord. And so, Lord, we ask that you come and save us. Jesus, the Prince of Peace, come and give us peace in our homes, 
Come and give us peace in our schools, when we are playing, when we are at home. Father, we pray that you give us peace in our country, Nigeria. We pray, O oh Lord, that you give us peace even at this time of pandemic, O oh Lord, and take away this disease from us and from the nations of the world. May you alone be praised. May we continue to follow you wherever you go so that you will always save us, so that you will always rescue us in the time of turbulence. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. As we go, Lord, go with us. Bless us, bless our homes, bless our environment. Help us to be good boys and girls, ready for Jesus to come back and take us to heaven. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. The grace, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. And the children of God shall say, Amen. Amen. Okay, it's time for us to go. Wear your face mask properly. Make sure you wash your hands with soap and water regularly and sanitize your hands every time you need to do so. Okay? Did you hear me? Yes. Okay, bye-bye children. See you next Sunday. Bye. bye. bye.